flames and smoke could be seen for miles. It was five years ago today that a fire engulfed a warehouse at the port of Savannah. News Reese Trish Williford spoke with a fire official who was on the scene that day. He said it took hours for crews to bring that place under control. The Port of Savannah is the second busiest U.S. container exporter. Five years ago, more than 1,800 tons of shredded rubber burned for pretty much the entire day inside that warehouse at the Georgia Ports Authority's Ocean Terminal. And that fire led to some pretty significant changes with Savannah Fire Rescue. I've never seen a fire this big, never seen flames that big. When we crossed over the bridge, we could actually feel the heat from the fire. Thick black smoke and flames touched the sky in Savannah on Saturday, February 8th, 2014. This was a major fire uh, in the fact that it, it depleted a lot of our resources. Battalion Chief Ira Harper worked in the Fleet Maintenance Department at Savannah Fire Rescue five years ago. He was actually fishing that Saturday morning when he got a call to get over to the Georgia port as soon as possible. I brought radios, more radios to the scene as I got there, realizing that there were more resources needed. Our initial crews upon arrival uh, was the first thing they did was life safety to ensure there was no uh, individuals in the warehouse. Well, thankfully, no one was inside the warehouse when that rubber fire broke out and spread so quickly. The flames destroyed half of this 200,000 square foot structure. Police urged nearby hotels and other businesses to either evacuate or keep people inside. Emergency crews surrounded the building for hours, dousing it with water and foam. So I was actually pulling water out of Savannah River, supplying the the equipment and the firefighters that were on scene. Well, in the weeks that followed, more than 100 people worked to clear the site. Fire officials say this fire prompted the department to make some major changes. The things that we learned then, we have perfected and made better now. News 3 received this comment from the CAO of the Georgia Ports Authority, James McCurry Jr. He says investigators were not able to determine the exact cause of that fire, but says the warehouse was replaced and is fully functional with new and improved fire detection and prevention systems. Now, Savannah fire officials say following that fire, the department worked harder to get equipment to emergency scenes quicker and they say their communication with other nearby fire and police departments has improved considerably. I definitely remember that Saturday. Sure. Clearly, Trisha, mm -hmm. many of us were called in to work mm -hmm. here. And on that day, our viewers, they were so kind to sending us pictures, mm -hmm. pictures taken from as far away, some from the Truman Parkway and some from President Street. Uh, of course, we know that this fire could have been a lot worse. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Yes. Thank you.